Let's listen to uh, Gunnar Romney over 100 yards. Caught a big touchdown pass from his older brother tonight. He's with Spencer. All right, Gunnar, the deep ball was a huge part of tonight's offensive game plan. Was that something that was instituted early in the week, or was that something that uh, just happened in the moment? Um, I mean, we wanted to get that going. That's something that is critical to our offense, to scoring lots of points. And so that was really an emphasis this week. Um, we've hit it a couple times, but not as many as we needed to. So it, it was early in the week. We we're trying to trying to exploit their defense, but not necessarily that. Just get our offense going, because I think that's, that's a key part of our offense, getting those explosive plays. BYU wins by 8, 35-27, got out to a really quick start. Uh, I know there are gonna, there's going to be some frustration from some of your teammates that they got that close, but how do you handle that as you try and move forward and, and you're 4-0? Yeah, I mean, it's always hard to get a win no matter what. You know, we, we jumped out to an early start, and would we like to keep going and, you know, maybe, maybe run them out of the park? We would have, but, you know, a win's a win. Um, we just got to learn from it and not let this type of stuff happen again. Utah State is up on Friday. You've played there before. You've been through the rivalry business. Um, how do you prepare for a game like that compared to, uh, well, and it's your first road game. I mean, so, so how do you prepare for that that challenge? Um, really, you just have to, you know, treat it the same way as you treat a home game. You know, you just can't let the crowd get to you. I've played there before, and it's a pretty hostile crowd. You know, their their student section gets gets personal. They get into it a little bit. So it's fun, but, you know, you just can't let that, that get to you, and you just can't let that get in your head at all. Can we officially graduate you from the best receiver between the twos into a guy that scores touchdowns now? I hope so. Hopefully you didn't jinx me for the rest of the season, but it's going good so far. What's it like for you to celebrate with uh, a crowd full of fans compared to last year? It's awesome. I mean, just the the rock, every every fan that comes here just to, to have almost a full stadium four games in a row. Even, even down in Las Vegas, we almost had a full stadium of even during an away game. You know, it's awesome just to see the turnout of Cougar Nation. Like, we, we really appreciate that. You can feel the energy on the field. You can feel the momentum swings caused by the crowd. And I think, I can't thank them enough. They're a big part of this game. So ESPN put up a picture of you and Baylor at the Texas State Championships or whatever when you were really little. Uh, I'm sure you're going to hear about that. It's what are the emotions like catching a touchdown from your brother? It's awesome. You know, Baylor, Baylor came in and did a tremendous job today. He, he tore it up. And so it's super cool. I, I try to, you know, put those emotions aside during during the game and, and not let it get to me at all. Um, I don't want to play with any amped up emotion, but now I can go celebrate and I'm gonna go tell him what a great job he did. Fair enough. Enjoy the celebration tonight. Thanks, Gunnar. Thank you. Appreciate it.